Well, welcome back again. This time, boy, how are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And today is Saturday, and of course, we're going to be addressing the issue between Davido and people that uh, is owing money, allegedly owing money, and uh, the issue cost quarrel between himself and Danny Crane. Then Sam Clef came out again to be blasted Davido, and uh, the matter then involved Bob Risky. But I'm going to specifically concentrate on Dami Cray versus David Doe and Sam Clef bringing whiskey into the matter. Well, that music you heard, that is uh, music from Dami Cray who decided to capitalize on the whole issue with David Doe. Dami Cray has about 570,000 followers on uh, Instagram and uh, David Doe has about 2.7 something million followers on instagram and honestly guys i will be on completely biased about this matter i will talk at the way i did feel say the matter supposed to be despite many of you think that i'm extremely biased when it comes to david o. well i will talk it exactly the way i see it and the way i feel well dami cray versus david do so dami cray have been begging david do to pay him his money Dami Gray wrote a song for David Doe, which David Doe acknowledged that Dami Gray wrote a song for him years back. Dami Gray, as of today, wants David Doe to pay him the money, the royalties from that song, amounting to approximately, according to David uh, Dami Gray, amounting to one hundred and twenty k dollars at least. He said, "Ob whom." Ho ho one, David do ho. Please pay me my money. I know the I know they beg you. It is my work. You know got Jackba. Make I give you ideas of money where you may you now oh no do the whole royalty six years equals to 120k at least. 120k dollars at least. That minus songwriter fees. Royalty alone fit secure person picking future. It's, I'm saying that today if David is owing him uh, 120k at least. Well, honestly, I expected David not to uh, respond to Dami Cray. There are two persons who are accusing David o. The other one, his name is uh, Ali Abu Salami, which I already addressed. Make sure you guys should check out that video, I already addressed it. Abu Salami. I was expecting David Doe to respond to Abu Salami, not to Dami Cray, because Dami Cray has been a long time ago. Well, David Doe, however, acknowledged oh, that Dami Cray wrote that song. He acknowledged it. But again, he was expecting Dami Cray to be grateful. David Doe was expecting Dami Cray to be grateful that he did a lot of things for him. And let us be completely honest. You guys recall now. Internet never forgets. The time Dami Gray was arrested in the United States of America over fraud issue, internet scam. After he said it, Dami Gray said David Doe was the only artist that came to his rescue. Was the only artist that gave him a house to stay that came to his rescue. He acknowledged that. So with all those things and so many other numerous things that David Doe has done for Dami Cray, David Doe expected Dami Cray not to ask for a dime from that music. And again, David Doe in an interview said he wanted to sign Dami Cray to his record uh, label, but Dami Cray ignored him. So now let's check out what David Doe wrote. David Doe said, I never got paid for that also.
David Doe said, I never got paid for that also. My theory verses, I gifted you all your dead career. Oh yeah, plus my royalties. We charge now so that's about 150k times theory in verse. Also, house rent and food when you stay in my house in Atlanta when you were homeless. Then the video also laughed that internet fraud does not pay again, insinuated that Dan McCray was actually guilty of internet fraud as he was arrested in the United States of America as at then. Well, they all were coming back and forth. Dan McCray responded to David Doe. He said, See, as you want to disgrace yourself, now, now you can't really get that issue. Issue in Izu in your songs. You featured me, bro, and it was released on your YouTube and digital platform. You chop all the money alone. Thank God everything is online. Receive day. You convinced me to come stay in your house because Sony Music guy in Atlanta reached out to you that they want to sign me. That's when we did all the affiliation with my label and DMW because you want chop out of my Sony Music deal. Now you just scatter the deal cause the deal go help me. See as person papa the tweet like small picking. So because your friend gift you, so he, he shouldn't pay for the goods he took from your shop? That's, that got me like David Oho, won yourself oh. When one, when one of the artists sing, say, okay, something or that stuff. Well, I am so glad eh, that Nigeria entertainment industry is not like South Africa entertainment industry. <laughs> South Africa entertainment industry, they can send Ayakila. We saw a lot of the artists dying now. We saw them. You cannot just hold anybody or play with somebody who are artists. And somebody who claim that, yes, they are, they are, that they have done something for you, they need you to do something for them back. So now I'm beginning to think is gradually going to that aspect, but I don't ever want to go to that aspect. So every artist now need to be safeguarding themselves, need to be carrying enough personnel around them, safeguard yourself because I don't know who is who. I don't want to hear anything like a rapper, aka in South Africa, happening in Nigeria. Because, because that's the place it's going to now. Because it seems like people do not care about the justice system again. If you feel someone is owing you, go to court. But the way our artists are doing, they do not care about court. They just want to call you to make sure you pay them that money, give them that money by force, by fire, through social media affiliations, through social media judge. And if they cannot get that, they will seek for another avenue. Because they will rather say, okay, since you cannot give me my money, I may acquire you now. Make I make I finish your life so that you will see how uh, as you go take the make the money, whether you still do this life. Yeah, that is what is happening in South Africa. You guys might think I'm overthinking it or I'm overreacting on it, but that is how it used to start. When people start saying that other people are ripping them off, or some ungrateful people out there who do not reason that oh, this guy has done a lot of things for me, I shouldn't be asking for this. Like this guy is a really good guy. There's a need for me and him to reconnect and always stay connected. All those ungrateful people are the ones that usually go on to co commit all those atrocities, killing other artists. I don't want it to get to that space. I don't want it to get to that space. And again, to David Doe, let me be completely honest. Not everybody you associate yourself with. There is a need for you. Not everybody. You are not God. You are not God. Don't associate yourself with everybody. And many of all those artists are learning from this. Sorry, if an artist is trying to make it and someone don't want to associate with you. It's not their fault. You know why? Check out what is happening to David O. Associating himself with so many people, trying to do business with so many people, want to be available with so many people. Now they make and they end up with this kind of trouble now. And I still blame him. Not everybody that will break contract to you and say, I want to, let's make money that you will just sign. There are some in, in, incredible people out there, like like every. I don't want to mention them, but I think as an artist, there are some business day you will say, "I don't want to involve myself in this business." 
not every contract or do you think whiskey boner boy i will go, going to sign on every contract because the money is big it might backfire tomorrow no be every dime out there you want to take if you are satisfied as someone and you are satisfied within yourself i bet you there are so many uh, wicked money that will come your way that you, you won't even look because they're going to land you in trouble in the year after and they're going to disgrace your name year after you guys will not understand it those of you keep saying that uh, i don't like the video but it is true you are so are valuable for so many persons you are so valuable for so many persons don't make yourself available for so many persons simple as that guy well then sam clef came into the matter and start comparing david o and whiskey what an insult start comparing david o and whiskey who blasting david o. come on man this is absolute disrespect the other day david o called himself the africa the afrobeat king well as an afrobeat king you should lead by example i agree you're an afrobeat king lead by example well let's listen to sam clef I believe some of them. I don't see that post. Where they do post. You understand? It never will be the game. See, real mafians, they're not the third person if they want to do something. They go do and first. You go to announce. Many of them beg you. Who go beg you? You don't get shame. You know what was Scarface? When Sosa won fuck up Scarface, he don't make noise. The rules of mafia, you know, you see, you know, study mafia law. Now, because I say now, now illegal way use joint level. And all those people where they support that, now illegal, now illegal. Forget say you pay money, now illegal. You feel me? Illegal, ni. You feel me? You know, no law. Oh, you don't create for tailors of power. You just see money, enter, see. You won't become street. You know, low street law. You they make noise. Then, then, if I just say you want to be famous, I'll be waiting. You want to now check this, I'll be. Eh? They go carry two people in one suit. They will they serve them, serve them paper. You they do like a local boy, like you know, you know, like you know, even black person go and grow for Yankee. They do like you know, they do like celebrity. You know, they do like celebrity at all. You do like local. You just cover yourself with shit. You know, they see whiskey. You know, they see whiskey that's the work out. You just there everywhere, local. Calm down, You're everywhere. Hello. And because they David do unfollow that guy, that that guy they pissed off up to now. Understand why that one is out. But again, eh, whether you like it or not, I know you guys want to get closer to celebrities. Or, but whether you like it or not, there are certain ways a celebrity should be. Whether you like it or not, nobody wants anybody from Big Boy. Or, no, but as a celebrity, there are certain ways you must be in order to accumulate that respect. That is why they will always respect Machala. You know, get as you want to be. But it's no good though. Some people say it to the form. But you get reason why in the form. It's a reason why Machala they form because of this kind of disrespect. Because of this kind of disrespect, he has been able to nurture himself to that aspect over the years, not to even respond to any negativity, although he was responsive before. But as it goes, he learned from it, not to respond to any negativity, and now he has put himself at that space where he doesn't even care anymore. If you like swing one, no people talk. He doesn't really give it then. How can somebody be calling you a thief? Huh? A thief. And me, with David, don't make me know. He say he won't show money. Eh? He passed that two hundred something million. Me, for that money of that uh, Abu Salami, I don't want David to pay him. Honestly speaking, he shouldn't pay because I believe what they have done. Because I kind of like understand the contract now. If I am David, I won't pay a dime. But I will sue him. I won't pay a dime. I won't respond to him. But I will sue him. Honestly speaking. And Dan Erega said, David has enough time to reply Dan Ekrin. But could not address the issue with Abu Salami. Misplaced priority. Whenever he is accusing, he's accused of something, one unnecessary drama start online to divide people's attention and end the outrage or conversation is becoming a pattern. That's coming from Dan Ekrin. Uh, where Daniel Riga. Well, I wish them all the best, and uh, whoever is owing who, let that person pay. 
we already know. We already know that Dami Cray is trying to capitalize on this one. Let me pray. You know, say that money no better. They're trying to capitalize on it. You get it. No being go drop on your own song now. Thinking that on your own song will blow because it was trending yesterday on Twitter. Come on, man. It's the, you don't give people an avenue to capitalize on your name, to make money for top of your head. See, insult you, Joel. Come on, man. No need for that. And uh, I think his team need to come together and be like, oh, no, no, what? Let us strategize. Let us do this. But I believe David don't know the ally team. It is. Like David don't know they hear his team advices sometimes. Honestly speaking, I believe that. I believe. I believe that it doesn't allow. They treat that something as uh, why extended family matter. It's your team. If you listen to Abu Salami matter, you will know Abu Salami went through different avenue to try to get to David. Do. How is that ever possible? To get to you is supposed to be one avenue, one route to get to you. And through your email directly to you, by the time you pass a pass, what do, do I even know? 